jackknives. So this is an advanced oblique ab move. Um, if you guys are wanting to do a modification, I will remind you as to what the lying side frog crunch looks like. But the whole point of this move is to do the jackknife. So jackknives. So jackknives are an advanced oblique move. I'm going to show you how to modify this move as well, but I'm also going to show you how you can progress it and make it more of an advanced move. So we're going to come all the way down to our sides. Now remember, if it is in your workout, then you are going to be doing it both sides. So be mindful of the timing and how things are organized in your workout today. So you get both obliques, both sides of your body balanced and moving with intention. So we're going to come all the way down. I like to bring my arm out about 45 degrees out of the shoulder joint. So not straight up, not straight out. I about 45 degrees. Now we're going to bring the other arm up because it's going to help us come up and we're going to tap hand to ankle, come up, you're going to squeeze through the outer oblique, you're going to engage the core, tap the ankle and come back up. You can bring that hand in a little bit closer and rest on the elbow if you need to. You're going to exhale on the way up, inhale on the way back down. Think you are squeezing the tiger, right? Squeezing the tire of your core which means on your way up, you need to squeeze it to let some of the air out like a bike tire, right? If you, when you put the pressure gauge onto it, it releases some air to allow for you to actually put more air back into it. That's what we're doing here. So exhale, inhale back down, etc. Okay, so it's the same move all the way through. Now, if you're struggling, you can plant the bottom leg and use just the top leg and push off your elbow. Same thing, come back down. I like to keep my toes pointed. I find I get more length out of my leg this way. But I, what I want you to do is not let yourself crunch up, but I want you to pull up through the outside of your obliques, lift and engage. So you are lifting up and then crunching in instead of crunching and only getting so far and getting more into your neck. We are going to create length and then come up. Okay, use the bottom leg for balance. Use the front, the top elbow for a little bit of help. But if you can, we're going to go full version. So you're going to have that nice little bend in your hips. Come up, hop, tap and release out. You're squeezing that oblique, pinching the flesh between your hip and your ribs. That, my friends, is your jackknife.